That sound never gets old, does it? In three, two, one. So I'm here today to show you my 3D printed compressed air rocket. These rockets will fly up to about 200 feet in the air, typically hitting heights of 150 feet, no problem. And as they come down, they embed themselves on the ground just like that. So you definitely want to fly these in a park, and not over concrete. I designed these rockets using a program called Open Rocket, and then I rendered it using a program called Tinkercad. In Open Rocket, I made sure I found the center of gravity and the center of pressure, and Tinkercad is where I actually put the 3D model together. And then it's all designed to print on a bed uh, height of 250 millimeters. So an Ender 3 fits these just perfectly, and you can print them in two colors by swapping out the filaments partway through on the Z-axis, and they come out great. Three, two, one. Again, those sounds. Here it is in slow motion. You can see that it launches up, and the hang time is around seven seconds. So after you launch it, should hit the ground around seven seconds later. I want to see what would happen at different uh, pressures. And so here's 40, 60, and 80 PSI at 1,200 frames a second. And then what I did was I calculated how quickly they were traveling. In other words, the exit velocity. And what I found was that as you went up in pressure, you went up in speed. Um, and it caps out at about 80. After you get above 80, you kind of, kind of lose um, any of the added benefit you have. Um, what this equates to in miles per hour is they're leaving the, the barrel at about 100 miles an hour. So these are going pretty quickly. Three, so here two, it is one last time. One. This is my favorite shot. Wait for it. There it is. Try it out yourself. Thanks for watching.